Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this Hubble 70 watt high pressure sodium wall pack without photocell. I have one which has a photocell right here. So I have two of these. Um, this one, like I just said, doesn't have a photocell. So anyway, I got these two, the one that I also just showed you, and the 50 watt high pressure sodium ceiling light from my local university surplus store for and I got these for three dollars also so three high pressure sodium lights for three dollars a piece awesome price anyway uh, I believe these fixtures were used with the canopy light which I showed in a different video the ceiling light uh, in a tunnel or something because this one also doesn't have any signs of uh, water in the inside of the nice housing here so they're all in pretty nice condition Anyway, this box here does not usually come with this light. Uh, you normally mount it directly to the wall, and there's a gasket here. So you'd have the wall here, and this box would not be included. So this box is an accessory that the university must have wanted. Uh, so they wouldn't have to put a box behind it, and it looks ugly. So I really like that they went this way. Uh, one thing that's quite interesting about the Hubble wall packs, at least this is their industrial one, if you go on the internet like eBay or something you'll find ones that are made by different companies and don't look like this, so this is their older model. Um, they're quite thin, but they're quite uh, uh, large this way, wide, out, whatever, thick, thick you could call it. They're quite thick uh, from the side, but they're quite thin from the front, so they're quite interesting in that way because most of them are opposite. This would be the front and this would be the side so it would be closer to the wall. But anyway, quite interesting. Um, as you can tell in the front here there's a bit of yellowing but that gives it character personally. I think it does. It's the other side. And on the back here of course I did a nice bar so I could hook it up to a 2x4 or something really easily and quickly. There were holes in the back here. My dad uh, filled those with epoxy. It works very nice because it hardens up. There was a hole behind here. You can kind of see that there. That's where the wires came out. Plug that with a plug and put epoxy in it. So it turns out very nice. I like my things looking very nice. So anyway, this one does work. One interesting thing to note is the high pressure sodium bulb is actually at a slant. It's not straight out. It's not straight out. It's at a slant. It's slanted in there. Quite interesting. It's not at that dramatic of a slant. It's more at that kind of a slant, but it's different than it going straight down. So anyway, you probably want to see this thing on and not me jabbering about it, as the video is already getting quite long. And let's turn this off. And here we go. Now I won't let it run very long because you've all seen in other videos a 70 watt high pressure sodium light turning on so of course it had to fall my extension cord and just hit random things but that's okay everything's good so that's the side it's it's a lot more yellower on camera it's more of an orangish orangish here in real life there's the front the side now in the bottom here um in this area, in here, where the groove for the screw to hold the lens on, or the refractor, uh, in the inside there they also put grooves for uh, refracting the light. So, quite interesting. So there's the fixture. Hope you enjoyed this video of my Hubble 70 watt high pressure sodium, I'm going to call it a industrial wall pack. I don't know if it is or not, but it's different than their commer the residential models, I believe. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.